Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a review video and I was really really excited when I went on the NYX website and I check NYX all the time because they're one of my favorite cruelty free brands. Um, and yes, they are still cruelty free technically. Yes, they were bought out I think by a parent brand that isn't cruelty free, but the brand itself, NYX, still is cruelty free. And it even says on here, on the little packaging it says cruelty free on here, right there. So I was on their website and I was looking at their new products and I saw that they came out with these new lipsticks. And these are the NYX Plush Gel Lipsticks. And they basically, they look like this. And I saw them and I was really excited because I'm kind of a low maintenance lip person. Like, I love me a good like liquid lipstick. Like, you know, like the really popular liquid lipsticks that are going around right now that are being made by like every brand. I do like them a lot. The only thing I don't like about liquid lipsticks is they tend to like wear off your lips and they look splotchy. They make your lips look kind of dry. Um, I feel like you have to kind of like keep reapplying or keep checking them in the mirror to make sure they're not like wearing off like just in the center. You know what I mean? Like I feel like lip liquid lipsticks look really nice but they're very very high maintenance if you choose to wear them especially if you choose to wear like dark colors and so I kind of like me a like low maintenance lip color something that if it wears off it wears off evenly um, it wears off like completely if it's gonna wear off it's something that you can just throw on leave in your purse you get like a good color payoff you guys know what I mean kind of right so when I saw these I was really excited and I was like are these gonna be kind of like Revlon lip butters I wasn't really sure so I wanted to try them out and let you guys know because I don't really feel like the name really kind of tells you what it is exactly so NYX plush gel lipstick and I got the colors so this one is coral mist and it's like this really pretty coral shade I got this one which is dime piece and it's this really pretty kind of blush rose pink shade which is gorgeous I got this color which is breakup and it's like a nice 90s brown which I love sacred mix which is a really dark dark color and I really wanted to try a dark color in these because if they are more like a Revlon lip butter sometimes dark colors can kind of come off patchy or streaky so I really wanted to test a dark shade for you guys to see how that wears as well so alright so when I first open these they actually are kind of matte looking kind of threw me off a little bit they actually smell a little bit fruity they don't have like that cheap makeup smell which I've been kind of dealing with a lot lately I feel like when getting new makeup is they have that gross cheap makeup smell and I hate that but these actually smell slightly slightly fruity but it's like the faintest of faint smells so you don't have to worry about like a really strong smell with these I'm gonna put all the information to this on the side like I always do how much they cost where you can get them and all that kind of stuff so all that's gonna be listed here so these are actually um, marketed as high shine like polished lipstick so I think it's supposed to give you some really really shiny shiny lips kind of like that polished look and there also is 12 shades so a lot of good shades to choose from so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to try these on for you guys the first one I'm gonna try on is the breakup shade and this is the brown one so I feel like these are really pigmented pretty shiny not overly shiny though Wow, I'm actually pleasantly surprised by this. I actually thought that these were gonna be a lot less pigmented, almost more like lip balms in a way, like tinted lip balms almost. But these are really, really pigmented, which is amazing. They almost feel like really moisturizing lipsticks. Like I love moisturizing lipsticks. It's one of my favorite, favorite formulas for lipsticks is like extreme moisture lipsticks. So that definitely, like it definitely feels that way. I'm not going to say that they're overly shiny, like it was like high shine and polished. I would say it just looks like a normal moisturizing lipstick, nothing like extremely high shine. But I do really like the finish. So this one is Coral Mist. So I feel like this one is a little bit more balmy like a little bit more splotchy or patchy than the other one. I kind of feel like it depends on what color you get. Um, as far as like how rich and pigmented it is or how balmy it is if that makes sense This one I feel like is a little bit more transparent and you can see a little bit more of my natural lip shade underneath All right next color is this light pink one and it's in dime piece This is like a my lips but better maybe a little bit pinker Okay, this one's like really creamy Ooh, 
It's just like Barbie. So I feel like these two are very similar as far as like consistency and texture goes. Like, I don't know if you, ha if you're like an older person and you have a lot of like small wrinkles in your lips, these may feather just a little bit just because they are so creamy and super, super moisturizing. Um, but one thing I am noticing, I'm going to zoom in just to see if you guys will see this. But when I go like that, I get like a line around my lips. Um, because they are so creamy and they don't really stay put. Do you guys see that? There's like a ring around. If you're like, you know, applying a ton of this stuff, that's when you're going to start having problems, I feel like, because it's just going to keep building up and building up and getting like thicker and creamier. Let's try this one out. This one is in Sacred Mix. So this one is really, really pigmented. I'm actually really impressed by the darker shades of these. Like I felt like the darker ones were gonna look um, kind of streaky, but these dark ones are extremely pigmented and I'm like really impressed by them. You gotta be kind of careful. I do feel like they could get on your teeth a little bit if you're not careful. So honestly, I think these are pretty nice. I think that um, I think I'm gonna wear them a lot. Like I said, this is my favorite formulation of lipsticks, just like the creamier, more moisturizing lipsticks. I feel like they're easy to apply, they're easy to wear throughout the day, they're not gonna wear off like uneven or make your lips dry or splotchy or cracky or anything like that. They're just really simple, easy lip colors to wear, which I appreciate. They are more of a wet consistency, so they may feather out on your lips, if that makes sense. But I'm actually really impressed. I really like them personally. I think my favorite one is probably this brown one or this dark red. I'm really impressed by the dark shades in these. Um, but I think these definitely have potential for easy like purse lipsticks. You know what I mean? Like these are like good purse lipsticks. I'm going to check in in a few hours and let you guys know what I think as far as staining goes. Okay guys, so I wanted to do a quick update for you guys on the lip colors. Now I took it off because I wanted to show you guys kind of what it looked like off. Um, what I will say is they're not long lasting. You're not going to get a long lasting look with these whatsoever. And I wanted to see if it was going to stain because you know how some lipsticks kind of give you a nice stained look when it wears off. You don't get any stain with this whatsoever. So this is what my lips look like after I just took it off and yeah, I don't really feel like it stained my lips at all. Um, so they're not long lasting. That's another downside if you're into really, really long lasting lip colors. Another thing that I was going to say too, after wearing it for a while, it feels like a gloss. Like it feels like a really pigmented lip gloss on your lips. So if you're not a fan of how lip glosses feel, then you may not like these because it does feel exactly like a lip gloss would feel on your lips. They're just extremely pigmented versions of lip glosses. Um, so that's kind of my final thoughts on it. Um, I personally feel like I am going to wear these. I think they definitely have a good place in my collection just because I like lip colors like this that are like really wet, really moisturizing, almost glossy in a way. Um, and when I was editing actually, I did realize they are pretty shiny. You do get a pretty decent amount of shine on it, especially on camera. So I like how they look, but I don't think that they're for everybody, especially if you don't like glosses and especially if you kind of like long lasting. Anyways, that is it. And I hope you guys found this helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more reviews and more beauty videos. Um, but that's pretty much it guys. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to um, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.